Heidi ho internet surfers. Welcome to the third episode of MH Speaks for the week of August 14th, 2015. I am MH Smith, and I am speaking. I know what y'all are thinking. Wait a minute, MH. It's Saturday. Aren't these uploaded on Friday? Yes. And I'm sorry, but I was late. Things I couldn't help got in the way. You know, life happens, projects happen, and well, so here we are today a day late. So sorry. I try, I'll try to make sure it doesn't happen too terribly often. Uh, but one week in September, there is going to be one that comes in early. But we'll get to that. I promised y'all project updates on my new project, which is an assassin film. Well, I have do indeed have some updates for you. Pleases me to announce that I will be working with Chris Widdop as our lead assassin. Uh, Chris is another local filmmaker here in Tallahassee and a published author of the Velcro the Ninja Cat series. Uh, you can find his work at cwidop, W-I-D-D-O-P, dot blogspot dot com. Um, in fact, earlier this year, I reviewed his newest short film, which was titled Dream Girl, the first short film I've ever reviewed. Chris is an enjoyable person to be around. He'll be an enjoyable person on camera, and I think you guys will like him. Also glad to say that Daniel Gray will be returning to a Retrovision Studios project. Yay! Y'all may remember Daniel as Fred P. Barrasso in Abandoned Cars earlier this year. Daniel's a really great guy who is graciously giving his time to help make our art here at Retrovision Studios, and we are glad to have him and Chris both on our side. And for me personally, it's always a pleasure to work with these fine gentlemen. Speaking of Abandoned Cars, there will also be a follow-up to it shooting soon. Different story, same level of creepy. Should probably start shooting in October, November-ish, somewhere in that region. Can't say much about it right now, but I will give you a slight hint. Bigfoot. Maybe. Several nights ago, I got to see The Man from U.N.C.L.E., the remake of the 60s spy television series. Um, it's a fantastic throwback spy film. Uh, Guy Ritchie was totally the perfect choice to bring it to life, and I've, I really can't recommend it more. Uh, I am a little fearful on it, though. The film's negative press leading up to the release does make me think that the film's destined to join the Lone Ranger in dread for awesome film that nobody saw or the start of a killer franchise that just died too young. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but I'll have to wait and see. Uh, I mean, we had less audience members for The Man From U.N.C.L.E. than we did for Fantastic Four, and Fantastic Four had some pretty bad reviews going into it, too. I mean, the reviews for Man, for Man From U.N.C.L.E. are just plain stupid. Everything they're saying is bad about it is the reason to watch the movie. Talk about, it's... It, all it is is cool clothing and cool gadgets and cool cars with cool actors saying cool things, doing cool stuff. I mean, why would you want to watch that? Well, because I, I like being entertained when I go pay almost $11 at the cinema to watch a movie. And I don't know if y'all noticed this, but those things entertain. They entertain well. I'm going to step away from that microphone because I was getting a little too close to it. <laughs> Man from Uncle stars both Henry Cavill, otherwise known as the current Superman, and Army Hammer, coincidentally, the Lone Ranger. Both actors do a fantastic job. I'm, I'm really impressed with Army Hammer's work. The, two, the only two movies I've seen him in have been this and the Lone Ranger, and uh, so far I've yet to be disappointed by what he brings to it. Uh, although I am afraid that if this fails, he'll, he'll join Taylor Kitsch, which is also sad because Taylor Kitsch is also a really good actor from what I've seen him in. Henry Cavill, on the other hand, eh, he's Superman, he'll recover. Come to think of it, this has been a really good year for spy films as a whole. We had Kingsman the Secret Service earlier this year, and that was just phenomenal. Um, so happy that's getting a sequel. Oh, I'm so happy that's getting a sequel! Uh, the Man from U.N.C.L.E. has come out, and uh, in November we get Spectre, the newest James Bond film. Are spies making a comeback? Did did I make Retro and Iceman at the wrong time, and I should have made it now? Well, that's an interesting idea, actually. But what do you think of The Man from U.N.C.L.E.? Have you seen it? Are you going to see it? If so, what did you think about it? If you liked it, why did you like it? If you didn't like it, what didn't you like about it? Please let me know. Um, 
I'm curious to see what general consensus from an audience is. Uh, you can do that by leaving a comment on this YouTube video, or a comment on the Pork Chop Express page, or if you really want to get personal with it, you can tweet me at mhsmith22 with the hashtag mhspeaks, or email mhspeakspodcast at gmail.com. I'm very curious to see what y'all think, and I would like to start reading some emails on the podcast, but I kind of need y'all to email me first. Uh, in fact, this would be a good topic for it. Well, everybody, thanks to the reason why this podcast is late. That's all I have for you this week. I will see you all again next Friday. I am M.H. Smith, and I have spoken.